What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey. So today we're going to cover the two new game modes, Robo Rumble and Boss Fight. I got a bunch of gameplay for you guys, some of my first thoughts, some tips as well. And then later today, I got another video coming out, and I'm going to talk about the new balance changes for all the brawlers, as well as what's going to be the most efficient way to max your account, especially in terms of whether you should spend your coins before the update or after. But all right, let's get into the game modes. So before we get into some gameplay for a boss fight, I just want to clarify really quickly, each event, boss fight, and Robo Rumble, they only last two days, and they only come once a week. So what happens is there's a two-day window where one of those events is, and then there's a five-day gap where you can build up tickets, and once that event is over, all of your tickets expire. So I really don't like that your tickets expire. It kind of sucks. If you're not available for those two days, all your tickets are wasted. I mean, obviously, if you can spend all your tickets, then no harm, no foul. But still, it would be nicer if we could play these new event types, you know, whenever we wanted. I understand it not being available all the time, but at the least, I wouldn't want my tickets to expire. That just seems not very user-friendly to me. And then also, here's a cool thing. You can use as many tickets as you want on a certain event when you're playing it. You can either use one and you'll get normal rewards, or you can use five tickets at once and you'll get five times as much gold as you normally would, or you can use 10 tickets, or you can use 20 tickets and you can get 20 times as much reward as you want. So guys, there's a ton of gold that you can get from this event. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's give a quick overview of boss fight. So boss fight is a five versus one where the one is the boss and the boss is chosen randomly among the six players in the queue. And then the boss has a bunch more health. To be exact, it's whatever health your brawler has plus 81,000. So they have a ton of health. And then it's whatever damage they do times one and a half. And same with their super times one and a half. Then they also run faster. They reload faster. So basically it's a crazy strong brawler and they have to take on the five. And the goal of the five is to try and kill the boss as fast as possible. And obviously the boss wants to survive as long as possible. And the better you do towards that goal, the more gold you will get. So it can be anywhere from like 15 to like 45 gold. And then it's also affected by the coin booster and coin doubler as well. So it can be a lot more. And not to mention, like I was saying earlier, you can also, instead of using one ticket, you can use 5, 10, 20. And then that times the reward by however many tickets you're using. Also, healing if you're the boss is way reduced in this game mode as they don't really want the boss to heal up that much. You do technically still heal some, but it's actually lower than normal stats. So it's really not very significant, especially when you consider how much health you have. And then also when wherever the boss is on the map, there's going to be a little indicator of what direction he is or where exactly on the map he is if he's not on your screen. And then additionally, there's two maps in Boss Fight. The first one is Calamity Canyon, which you're seeing in the gameplay. And then there's also a map called Hall of the Mole King. It's a pretty crazy weird name. But what it is, it sort of looks like a smash and grab map. It has that same green and purple background feel. It has a bunch of bushes. It's sort of like a big oval of bushes. And then there's like scattered walls throughout. And then the edges are bare and the middle is bare. A little bit like Snake Prairie, except the edges are bare. But there's a ton of different bushes. That's a fun one too. All right, so before we get into some live gameplay, first I just want to give some of my thoughts and some quick tips on boss fight. So essentially, damage is going to end up being really important in boss fight, but it's kind of hard to know exactly what brawler you want to use because you never really know if you're going to be the boss, if you're going to be facing the boss. So it's hard to tell if you want to pick the best potential boss or one of the best boss counters depending on the map. So it's important to keep in mind that this is a five versus one. So brawlers like Piper, who is a really good individual killer, but isn't very good at killing many people very fast or very quickly. Piper isn't a very good boss. Same with Brock, not a very good boss. I'm not really convinced the melee brawlers like El Primo, Bull, Mortis are that good as bosses either since they tend to take a ton of damage and it's not really a killing game it's really just a survival game so you don't really have to be dishing out a lot of damage so they can kill a lot of people but they sort of end up taking a lot of damage and then as far as brawlers that are good versus bosses there tends to be a lot of options calamity canyon really sort of favors throwers some so they're definitely strong in general 
but anything that can slow the boss down is usually pretty useful. So like Spike or Shelly can be useful in that regard, as once the boss is slowed down, it's a lot easier for people to gang up on them and use their supers on them. Because since the boss sort of moves around so fast, it's definitely hard to hit some of your shots sometimes. So that's definitely a factor. So those kind of brawlers can help. Any brawler that does high damage is always useful. So like Colt, Ricochet, any of those guys are always going to be good. Crow is good. There's a lot of different options, and honestly, it's sort of crazy, and it's just an unranked game mode, so just do whatever you want and have a lot of fun with it. All right, and now for some live gameplay. Yes, I'm boss. Yes, let's go. Look at how fast I run. Okay, I'm going to hide in the grass. I'm not going to see me coming. I'm just going to snipe someone. Whoop, 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 whoop. Here we go. Oh, they have two crows? I thought you couldn't do multiple of a brawler. Man, they're just, like, poisoning me. All right, here we go. Oh, get wrecked, Barley. Come on. Look at this bear. Look at how much health my bear has. They, like, have to retreat because the bear has so much health. Now, I'm facing... Everyone here I'm facing is all max because it's dev build. So everyone has their special ability. All of that. Oh, man, dude. This is so hard to avoid damage sometimes. Okay, I'm going to have my bear be on that side. I'm not really scared of Piper. Come on, I'm just trying to stay alive, man. Alright. This Facing two crows, I feel like, is kind of annoying. Oh, bold move. Oh, I thought the crow was going to go in, honestly. All right, there we go. Come on, face the bear, not me. Look at this. I think I've had like 10,000 health for the past like minute. Oh man, this is so hard though. Uh, uh, oh boy. Come on, Barley. No, the Shelly Super. Oh, this is it. No! Oh, man, that was so crazy. That was pretty good, though. 413? That's the best today. Oh, yeah. I'm the boss. And I'm dynamite. I'm going to sit behind this wall. You know what? I'm going to camp. Hey, it's five versus one. I think it's okay if I camp a little. Oh, look at how much damage that is. It's like almost one-shotting people. If you weren't maxed, you would be one-shot. Oh, yeah, and then I bounce. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's insane. Oh, I need to make sure not to blow up my own walls. It's going to be hard to, like, hit. Oh, the reload is so fast because the boss reload is faster. Man, I can just, like, spam these. Oh, no, I blew up my wall. I'm an idiot. What am I doing? And they have a Colt and a Ricochet, and I blew up my wall. What am I doing? Oopsie. I'm just going to keep blowing them up. I just, like, I just like get my special too often. <laughs> I wonder how many kills I've gotten. Double kill? There we go. Oh, no. Actually, it didn't kill the Daryl. And then the Poco just healed the Daryl. Going to avoid this Ricochet. Rico. Ricochet. Oh. Oh, I just hit four of them. Yes. Oh, here we go. All right, let's see if I can do it again. Oh, <laughs> this is dirty. Dynamite does so much damage. Let's go. Let's jump away. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> no. Save me. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that was pretty crazy. I actually, Nita was really fun. I think I, ended, did I, I think I did a little better with Nita, like 20 seconds maybe. But Dynamite, so many crazy kills. I think it was just hard to be totally accurate sometimes when there's five people. That, I think that's the one thing. It was hard for me to kill Daryl a lot.
All right, so now let's go over Robo Rumble. So to start out, there's two maps. I think it's called Pachinko Park and then Steel Junction. Now, one thing to note on all of these maps or both of these maps for Robo Rumble is they have these blocks that's basically walls and they can't be destroyed. So none of the walls in Robo Rumble can be destroyed. So the pathing always stays the same. So essentially, Robo Rumble is an endless wave after wave of robots that are coming to kill you and your team. And after they kill you, they're going to try and attack the safe. Or if you're not near the safe, then they'll attack the safe. And there's a couple different types of robots. There's melee robots that are big and slow. There's range robots that have a decent amount of range and deal some damage. And there's some mouse robots that are really fast and melee. And there's a boss robot that appears every seven waves for the first while. And this boss has a lot of health. He has 43,000 health on wave seven. And then after each additional boss, he has another 8,000 health. And his main attack is whenever he attacks, he stops and fires six rockets one at a time, and each rocket does 900 damage. And that damage and the amount of rockets stays the same no matter what level boss you're facing. Now, one thing to note too is whenever he fires his robots, or sorry, his rockets, he stops. So he won't run towards you at all, but he can move. So if you're running away from him and he stops and starts firing his rockets, you can keep running and he will follow you some. But his rockets are a little random, so you can avoid them some. And they're not that fast. So like if you're a cult, you should be able to avoid them sometimes unless you're really close to him. Now, one really important thing to know in Robo Rumble is the robots are going to spawn where you're not. So if you're trying to play really aggressively and all of your team pushes up the map in order to try and kill the robots faster or start attacking them sooner, well, you might end up with some robots spawning pretty much right next to your safe. So one good idea is to try and have one person stay back and then you can have two other people who go up the map a little bit and try and start killing the other robots earlier. Now, each wave is pretty different. They typically consist of about three to five robots, and they can be a different mix of different robots from range to melee or the mouse ones. And then whenever there's a boss wave, it's only that boss, but they can come while the other robots are still alive as well. So one important thing to note is how the robot stats increase after each boss wave. So after a boss appears, all the robots get a stat increase. So they'll get a damage increase and they'll get a health increase. So for instance, on the first wave, the melee brawler has 4,800 health. And then by the 21st wave, he has 11,000 health. So after a while, they start to get not only a lot of health, but also a lot of damage. So another example is on wave one, the range robot does 630 damage, but by wave 15, he does 1,450 damage. So eventually it gets to the point where these robots just have so much health, it's really hard to kill them fast, and you sort of end up running out of room to go, and that's where they start hitting you often. You basically just get overwhelmed because it's so hard to kill those robots fast enough, and that's where they end up dealing damage to you, and then usually by that point they also deal a ton of damage per shot, like for instance, it's very possible that you could just get two shot from a range robot, which is kind of crazy. So because of this, brawlers that can deal a lot of damage are very good in Robo Rumble and are honestly needed if you wanna go very far. So brawlers like Colt and Ricochet pretty much reign supreme and they're by far the best options. Now to me, those are the best two. And then the third one is the one that you can really debate on, I think. It might vary a little bit depending on the two maps, but those two maps are fairly similar. And as far as the options, I think some good options could be a Barley or a Spike. Jesse's not bad. And there are definitely a couple other options you could play with, but I still think Colt and Ricochet are gonna be two of the best ones for Robo Rumble. All right, so that's it for my tips and thoughts on Robo Rumble. Let's just get into some live gameplay. All right, so let's jump in again. Okay, so this time I'm recording from the beginning. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't record the beginning last time. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, so the first wave is always really easy. There's just two brawlers, or not brawlers, two robots. Nice. So the one thing about him is once he starts firing, he can't turn fast. 
So as a Colt, if you have his passive and he can run faster, he's really good at pulling the boss to where you want him to go. Okay, so next wave after this is gonna be a boss. So try and have your super anytime there's a boss wave coming. All right, so here's the boss. All right, he's almost dead. Oh no, don't hit the safe. All right, good. Good job, team. All right, I have a feeling we're gonna beat our high score this time. All right, it's getting kind of late. We're at past four minutes now. So it's definitely getting a little harder. Oh crap. Oh man. Uh, all right, we really gotta defend them off here. This is gonna be tough. They got so much health. Oh no. Oh man. We couldn't do it this time. They overwhelmed us. Hmm. Here we go, we're wrecking this boss. There we go, nice. All right. Now we just gotta try and stay healthy. Okay. Man, look how many shots it takes to kill some of these guys. It's got so much health. This is with Colt too. All right, let's see for this again. No. Oh. Close. Let's go. Come on, guys. We can do this. Oh, yeah. We beat our best time. Oh, boy. I think this is it, though. Yeah. We beat it by five seconds. Oh, they just get so much health. Six seconds. Let's go. Oh man, this mode's so fun though, but it's so tough at the end. Alright everyone, so that is it for today's video. What did you think of the new events? Which one do you think you're going to have more fun playing? Personally, my favorite is the boss battle. I just think that one's just so crazy. Although I do have to say, Robo Rumble is really addicting as far as trying to beat your challenge time. And I do apologize, sorry I wasn't talking that much during the Robo Rumble. Honestly, I just kind of felt like I had to concentrate. Uh, I was really zoned in trying to deal as much damage as possible. It was definitely a lot of fun and it was very hard. I enjoyed it a lot and I can't wait for you guys to play these modes too. All right, so later today, I'm gonna have another video out, hopefully around like 6.30 or 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, but it's gonna be on how you should best max your account once the update hits, whether you should be spending your coins before the update or after the update. And I'm also gonna talk about any of the new balance changes that are coming in this next update. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you later.